and I managed to get a few words in to the effect that business in the UK was being stifled, that people weren't able to trade freely with other people. So that's confusing, isn't it? This chap in the next one. Thank you, nice to see you. And um, that was a concern that ought to be brought to bear with those who are in an influential position. Okay, um, thank you very much for popping in. Um, hope you enjoy the service. <laughs> All right. Yeah, lovely. I'm around if I need it for anything. And I thought cool. I could do it on my own this year, but no. These guys to the rescue again. So fortunately there were some influential people there. <laughs> and um, I got invited back to drinks at the Treasury and I got speaking to one of the chaps who complimented me on some of the things I'd said at the meeting and said he'd be very interested to get my opinions because they don't really know what I have to say and um, I have to come back in today. Um, the fear of getting it wrong, or the fear of doing something wrong along through the year, um, yes, both of those questions, it's quite possible you can get those things wrong. Um, and you should have some sort of service. Wonderful. Are you coming down? Yes. Okay. Anyway, do you break tomorrow? Or? Yeah, I'll finish it today. Oh, marvellous. Okay. Yes. Um, Sadly, the, the situation arose today that we couldn't um, fulfill our requirements or couldn't actually spill the beans and tell them about the, the tax master plan um, because uh, the director was unavailable to uh, give the okay for the confidentiality agreement. So we're going to have to come back another day. The advent of PAYE perhaps about 50 years ago um, was, I would imagine, designed to help people tax other people they wanted to engage. And I found what he said very interesting. He said, surely this could already be done within the context of self employment. A sole trader could take on a friend to help him and simply tax that friend. So if you came along today and I needed your help, I needed to pay you a thousand pounds, then I would simply pay a hundred pounds of that to the government on your behalf. And it could just sit on your tax account. And that's doable. <laughs>